Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming. This is The Walking Dead Comics, issue number 78, Red and Explained, aka Comics with Killshot. This is the last issue of the Too Far Gone volume, and then we're moving on to a brand new series. I'm not going to tell you everything that happened in 77 if you didn't watch it. There were several deaths, I don't want to spoil it. I will tell you this though, at the end there was a gunshot, and then we see a brand new group, it's probably going to be the Saviors. This is about the time that we were introduced to them in the TV show, so I'm looking forward to this issue. Hopefully it'll shine a little bit of light on that. And also, I'll do a gaming video later on tonight, but then tomorrow and early Saturday, Probably no videos. I'll be off the grid, so you probably won't see anything until Saturday night or even Sunday morning. So don't worry. You guys can always message me on kick at K-I-L-Z-H-O-T. Here we go. Let's get into it and see what is going down for today. Come on. Let's get a move on. Really? At night? Haven't you been paying attention? This is dangerous, Derek. I'm happy we know where they are, too, but we're not seriously planning on getting there tonight, are we? Yeah, we are. We're going to surprise the hell out of these people. Get there tonight, get situated in the morning, plan our attack, and move in. They won't know what hit them. Tell them to stay close to us in the car. If things get bad, we'll all pile inside. Keep their lights off. Don't want them to see us coming. Crack. Glenn, stop, please. It's a gunshot, Maggie. Could be anything. It's not something we hear a lot. Someone could be hurt. I need to check it out. No, you don't. This is a big place. There are a lot of people who could be checking this out. Stay here. Sophia is scared enough as it is. We need you here. Maggie, you know I can't. Lock the door behind me, turn the lights off, and stay inside. I'll be back as soon as I know what's going on. And don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I love you. Holy... What happened? No clue. I think that's what everyone's trying to figure out. I hope nobody's hurt. Everyone, please listen. I know you're concerned, and I do apologize for startling all of you. But I need to ask you all to return to your homes immediately. I assure you, everything's under control. This is a police matter, and you being here is only making it more difficult for us to do our jobs. Thank you. Maybe you should come in. Thank you. Is Ron here? In his room. He's not taking it well. He loved his father, despite it all. I'll probably keep him out of school a few days, if you could let them know. That's understandable. I'll tell them. How are you holding up? Uh, I'm sorry. That was a stupid question. It's okay if you don't want... No, it's not that. It's... I'm relieved. Oh, God, what kind of person does that make me? I'm not glad he's dead. I'm not. I miss him, and I'm sad. But also, I think it might be easier, and I'm relieved. Oh, God, Pete's gone. Sorry, Jesse. I'm sorry. No! No way! It's bad enough we're having a funeral at all, but not for him. No way. I know what you're going through, Douglas, and I know what I'm asking. I do. But Pete's dead. The funeral isn't for him. I know he was an evil dude, but Pete was still that boy's father. And now he's gone. Dang it, Rick. Are you going out? Funeral's later. Construction crew's staying in today. I know. Tobin said he'd drive me to the clock tower. I'm not... I can't stay here. All this, a funeral, makes me think of Dale. I hate to admit it, but I don't like to think about him. It just hurts too much. I just try to act like he didn't exist. It's the only way I... You ready? I have to go. And he never held anything back for himself. If we were on the road and he had one drop of water left in his canteen, 
he'd offer it to me before he'd take a drink. Scott was that selfless. He would always push me to go further, to look longer, to dig deeper. Half the supplies we have here were found by him. And now, and now he, he's gone. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now, our constable, Rick Grimes, would like to say a few things. Do any of us really know who we are? And even if we do, now, did we know before this all started happening? Without this adversity, this hardship, how do we really know who we are? And what truly matters to us? This is something I find myself thinking about a lot. Now that I'm living here and I have the luxury of spending time with my thoughts. The things I've done to survive inform who I am as a person. I am a man who will do things to protect my family. A lot of things I've done, I'm not proud of. Are these things my fault? I know I, I would not have done them were the situation different. So how am I to blame? Pete was a loving husband and a father, and he did some bad, unforgivable things. But at the end of the day, how can we judge him? How can I? Is that who Pete really was? Or is that who he was made into by his surroundings? Was the man who killed Regina truly Pete Dodson? Or was he changed? No different than if he had died and come back. I say we should remember the man he was, not the Abraham, guys, you're with me. Michonne, go back. Make sure everyone stays in the church and be prepared for what comes next if things get bad. I've got no clue what I'm walking into. That wasn't Andrea. Someone's at the gate and they've got a gun. Go the long way through the yards so you're not seen. Get your guns and stay out of sight. I want to be prepared for anything. Whoever's at that gate could be sitting on a tank for all I know. Okay, stranger. You got my attention. What can I do for you? Isn't that obvious? Little pig, little pig, let me in. Why is Derek still in Negan's line? That's not how it works here. We like to get to know people first. Ask them questions about themselves. Like, how many people are with you? What makes you so sure I'm not traveling alone? Do you see anyone else? Hurry up. We need to get out there. There's no telling what this guy's up to. Please understand, regardless of how many of you there are, we have to figure out if you're dangerous or not before we can let you in. But we are dangerous, and you're going to let us in anyway. I don't see why I'd ever let that happen. You're going to let us in because otherwise something very bad is going to happen to you. See? I take it you know what that red dot means then. We're good people. We are, but we're desperate, and we'll do whatever it takes to make you let us in. Move, and my guy pulls the trigger. Same as if I give the signal. It's so simple, I shouldn't even have to say it. Let us in, or you die. Uh, you see anyone else that can open the gate? Killing me isn't really going to help you. Imagine you have a car. You could try to drive through the gate, but doesn't that defeat the purpose of coming in at all? Thing is, we want new people in here. We need them. There's a lot of work to be done, but we have a certain way about doing things. Had you just asked, things might have worked out. After these threats and demands, mm, it's not looking too good. So what I suppose I'm getting at is we're not going to let you in. That ship has sailed. You want to shoot me? Go ahead. But I assure you, we outnumber you. And if you shoot me, we're coming after you. All of you. So your two options are, 
walk away or die a horrible death. Your call. Really sorry to hear all that. The tough guy thing, it's cute. It's not going to work. Was nice knowing you. Pow! Huh? Looks like my sniper got yours. Ready to start walking now? Mother fudge! Get back here! Get! Pow! Click! Clap! Anyone else out there? You don't have to die. Walk away now, and it's over. You have my word. That's not good enough for us. Dang it. We're willing to take our chances. Going back on the road isn't an option. We're making a stand here. Thing is, guns are scarce. Bullets even more so. It's taken us months to gather what we've got. Stay in one place? Not going to find much that way. I think you're bluffing. You couldn't kill all of us if you wanted to. Now open that gate before we have to kill you. Ooh, we got a lot of people in position here. What's it going to be? Screw this. Blam! Huh? Blam! Braca, braca. Braca, braca. And it looks like they got out of dodge, I guess what is left of them. So, a few were buried. I'm assuming a few are going to go back and report to the saviors. This is definitely looking like the saviors, so, especially with the little pig comment. All right, we are back to uh, the burial. A lot of bodies being buried. So maybe this is some of the saviors, some of the Alexandrians. I didn't, I guess we could go back and count the uh, amount of graves there. Douglas, wait. She's in the ground. What more is there? Not that. I understand you wanting to leave. It's just, don't you think you should say something? I think people were expecting something. Why? Why? Because they're terrified, Douglas. We were attacked from within and from outside. I think they could use a little reassurance, don't you? You're their leader. These people need you. You saw in Pete something none of us did. And I know why we survived this attack today. It was your idea to put Andrea in that tower. I shudder to think about how things would have gone had you people not come along. Look at me. I've got nothing left for these people. They don't need me, Rick. What they need is you. And that, everybody, is where we leave it. Wow, Rick does not ask to be cast in this leadership role but it just seems to fall on his shoulders because he's just so good at taking charge. We got introduced to some saviors. We gunned a few of them down. We had the official funeral. And what is going to happen to Douglas? He's walking away. Is he going to leave the community? Is he going to stick around? Really anxious to see all these questions. And we will move into a brand new volume coming up on Sunday. Thanks once again. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts and comments below. And uh, it's starting to get like uh, refreshing my mind on the television show. So I'm really excited about doing some more comic book reads for you guys. Thanks once again. Peace.